guys, say you're here and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're already been here, thanks for coming back. So it is our favorite time of the year. It is time for the Sephora VIP sale, the spring savings event. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my recommendations for the sale, as well as the products that I have on my wish list. So if you are interested in seeing, then please keep on watching. Before we start the video, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Please turn your post notifications on so you get notified every time your girl uploads a video and follow me on Instagram. Oh, with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so before I jump into my recommendations for the sale, let me quickly tell you guys the dates for the sale and all the info that you need. So if you are Rouge, you are going to get 20% off and the sale starts for you on April 1st. If you are VIB, you are going to get 15% off and the sale starts for you on April 5th. And if you are Insider, you are going to get 10% off and the sale starts for you on April 7th. And also for a collection products, are going to be 30% off. If you are not an in insider at Sephora, you can sign up. I will have the link down below for you guys. It is totally free to sign up. And once you sign up, you instantly qualify for that 10% off. So with that being said, let's jump into my recommendation. All right, you guys, so I'm going to do makeup, skincare, body care, and then fragrances. And all the products that I mentioned, I will have linked down below for you guys in the description. And as always, I try my best not to be repetitive with the products that I mentioned in my Sephora VIB sale videos. So I will have the video from the last Sephora sale up above so you guys can check that out. I 100% recommend those products, 100% swear by them. But as I said, I'm trying not to be super repetitive. So with that being said, I'm going to start with foundations. The first one that I have is one that I haven't been able to put down since I tried it. And this is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. When I tell you, this foundation is amazing. If you're looking for a good everyday foundation, definitely check this one out. If you tried the Fenty Beauty Skin Tint and you like that, you are going to love this one. It gives you a little bit more coverage than the Fenty Beauty Skin tint but it gives me that kind of vibe very very lightweight very very blurring on the skin wears beautifully looks really really good on the skin it photographs really really nicely so if you are looking for a good everyday foundation definitely check this one out from NARS I feel like NARS is that girl when it comes on to complexion products so I'm not going to talk too much about this one because I did do a full review so I'll leave that up above so you guys can check it out but if you're looking for a good everyday foundation definitely check this one out from NARS. All right y'all, so the next foundation that I have, I'm honestly obsessed with this foundation and this is the New Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. When I tell you this foundation is amazing, if you're looking for a one and done foundation, if you only want to pick up one foundation right now, this is the foundation you need to pick up. If you're getting married, if you are going to be photographed in any way right now, this is the foundation that you need. When I tell you the name HD Skin, is literally what the foundation is. It looks like a filter on your skin. It looks so beautiful on the skin. It photographs so well. If you're looking for a good foundation, this one right here, I am obsessed with this. If you wanna see it in action, did a full review, I'll leave that up above for you guys so you can check that out. But this foundation right here, is in my top five. I'm not even going to hold you guys. It is in my top five foundations. I've been obsessed with this and the shade match on this foundation is spot on. All right, y'all, so the next foundation that I have, I always mention to you guys because honestly, this foundation is another one that is in my top five. I just really, really love this foundation. And this is coming from Sephora. This is the best skin ever foundation. Once again, you can save 30% off all Sephora collection products. If you want to try this foundation, now is the time to do so. This is an amazing hydrating foundation. When I tell you your skin in a bottle, this is this foundation. It looks so skin-like. It gives like a nice, medium coverage it hydrates the skin it looks beautiful on the skin it wears really really well literally the best hydrating foundation and it's super inexpensive if you're looking for a good foundation definitely try this one out as i said in my top five foundations i am obsessed with this foundation i'm almost done with this and when i finish it it's so good i will definitely repurchase it it is just an amazing foundation and I 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this one. All right, you guys, so that is it for foundations. I have tons more I could recommend to you guys, but as I said, I don't want to keep repeating myself. So please, you guys, make sure you check out my other Sephora recommendations videos. Um, so moving on to concealers. I have two concealers to mention to you guys. The first one is the KVD Good Apple Concealer. 
you guys this concealer is everything if you're looking for a new concealer or just a good concealer try this one from kvd it is amazing you guys know how much i love my nars concealer but i've been reaching for this concealer a lot and i just love the fact that i only need one shade it blends really really nicely it is super super creamy it gives you just enough brightness where i don't need to buy two shades it's just a very beautiful concealer i'm literally almost done with my nars concealer and you guys know that during the sephora sale is when i usually re-up on my nars concealer and honestly i want to give this concealer a shot so i probably won't repurchase my nars concealer for right now because i really really enjoy this concealer it is beautiful under the eyes very very creamy very very hydrating but wears really really well if you're looking for a good concealer to try out definitely check this one out from kvd i have it in the shade tan 173 it is the perfect shade it's not too bright but it's bright enough where it gives you a perfectly bright under eye without being too bright um if if I'm being extra every now and then, I do mix it with another shade if I want it to be super, super bright under the eyes. But for the most part, with this concealer, I don't feel the need to pick up two shades. So if you're looking for a good concealer, y'all, this one amazing and the next one is the lys triple fix full coverage concealer i have this in the shade tn6 this shade is another really really nice shade i've been really really loving this one for more of like a everyday kind of concealer if i'm going for like your skin but better i love this paired with the lys foundation or my sephora best skin ever foundation it makes the skin look so hydrated so beautiful so healthy under the eyes this is a beautiful concealer love it for everyday wear if you're looking for a good lightweight creamy concealer that gives you just enough coverage definitely check this one out from lys and as always i always talk about my nars concealer if you just want something og definitely check this one out from nars definitely in my top two so for powders i have two loose powders to mention to you guys the first one is coming from one size i recently started using this again and i fell in love with this powder all over again it's just a really really nice finely milled lightweight powder that blurs the under eye when i tell you this powder looks so good under your eyes it literally melts into your skin like butter it gives you a really nice bright under eye without giving you any flashback it looks beautiful under the eyes i've been hearing a lot of talk about this powder and i just decided to pick it back up because i didn't want to finish up my sephora powder and i fell in love with this powder all over again so if you're looking for a good powder to try out try this one from one size as i said it doesn't give flashback so don't even mind the fact that this is a translucent shade when it says translucent it is a truly translucent powder that won't give you flashback so definitely check this one out from one size and the next one i always mention to you guys this is the Sephora Translucent Setting Powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders. When I tell you guys, I'm almost done with this and I'm definitely gonna repurchase this during the sale. If you're looking for a good inexpensive powder that looks beautiful on the skin, try this one out from Sephora. It is absolutely amazing, very, very inexpensive. And it's just an amazing powder. I always talk about this, so. 10 out of 10 definitely recommend this one for pressed powders i'm not going to talk much about this because you guys know it's pretty much the same thing that i use all the time as the sephora micro smooth in the shade 60 deep and my dior powder no powder in the shade 6n both beautiful it's just a matter of price point um if you're looking for something very very inexpensive try the sephora but if you don't mind spending the extra coins try the dior both amazing press powders and just the two that i always 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 reach for okay guys so let's talk about blushes the first one that i have is coming from patrick toss so this blush palette you cannot get anymore but they now have these shades in the patrick Ta blush duos and the two shades that i recommend is this one right here called she's a doll and this one in the middle called she's vibrant absolutely amazing those two shades i feel like they are going to be perfect for spring y'all honestly the camera does not do this blush palette justice don't be scared by this super pink shade like this is what i'm wearing on my cheeks today and look how beautiful this shade looks it's just the perfect 
pink i didn't expect it to look this good on my dark skin but i'm obsessed with this shade so once again this duo is called she's a doll and the middle one is called she's vibrant so the middle one is more of like a orangey and this one is more of a pinky blush and it looks absolutely amazing so let me hold it back here so you guys can kind of see it but the camera honestly does not do this justice as i said before you cannot get the entire blush palette but you can get them in their individual duos so the duo comes with a cream blush and a matte blush so the two that i'll have linked down below once again is she's a doll the pink and the middle she's vibrant i'll also link this one just in case you want to pick that up but these are the two that i am obsessed with and the next one that i have is coming from lys so lys recently added a couple more shades to their blush collection and this one is in the shade epic y'all the name says it all for this blush like just look at that shade when i tell you very very pigmented very creamy it even applies really really nicely on top of powders you know the lys blush formula is absolutely amazing and the new shades are just everything this shade is beautiful the i want to pick up another shade called I, I believe classy i think that's what it's called it's another orangey kind of shade but this one is beautiful so if you want to try good cream blushes out that are not super pricey they're not as expensive as the patrick Ta blush definitely try them out from lys so another shade that you guys know that i love from lys is the shade passion so i just wanted to show you guys that side by side with the shade epic like just look at them gorgeous so i just want to show you guys what they look like side by side once again this is the shade passion and this is the shade epic and for bronzer, I'm not going to talk too much because as I said, I always mention these two bronzers. The Sephora Matte Bronzer in the shade 06 Ibiza and the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Falls Bronzer in the shade number 4 Deep. Both amazing bronzers. This is super inexpensive and this is just iconic. I'm not even going to hold you. This is an iconic bronzer. I used the one from Sephora today if you guys want to see what it looks like. But yeah. Two of my favorite bronzers from Sephora. So I have a mascara that I want to mention to you guys. This is the Rare Beauty Mascara. Anything that you've heard about it, it is absolutely true. This is an amazing mascara. I've been using this since the last Sephora sale when I picked it up. This is literally the only mascara that I'm using right now. It is a beautiful mascara. When I tell you black is black and it combs through your lashes perfectly it's just an amazing mascara as somebody who usually doesn't buy high-end mascaras i 100 recommend this one if you want to try it out now is the perfect time to try it out when you can get that discount yeah but 10 out of 10 definitely recommend this mascara from rare beauty so for lips it's pretty much the same as last time but i have a couple glosses that i've been really really enjoying the first being the patrick Ta gloss in the shade she's expensive i picked this up during the last sephora sale the shade is kind of a little bit different because you know my lip products um are inside of it but this is just a really really nice juicy gloss let me show you guys what it looks like i'm actually wearing it on the lips right now very juicy it's just a really really nice gloss not sticky very very creamy on the lips beautiful gloss if you're looking for a really really nice gloss to try out i love patrick ta lip products so this is a really really nice gloss the next one that i've been loving is the fenty beauty gloss mom cream this one is in the shade fenty glow this is just giving my lips but juicier and it's just the perfect pinky gloss sometimes i mix this in with a little bit of the patrick ta and it's just a beautiful gloss combo i mix this in sometimes with my um tower 20 gloss this one in the shade almond this combo right here is beautiful and as always i always mention my artist couture gloss in the shade uncensored 2.0 finally for lips i'm going to mention my sephora lip liner in the shade molasses because this is just a staple you guys know this already i always repurchase this this is just the perfect brown liner i don't have any other brown liner from sephora that i recommend because this is just the best in terms of price point and if you're looking for a good liner try this one out i do this in my lower lash line and also on my lips use this on my lower lash line today so if you're looking for a good liner try this one out from sephora and i have one more makeup product to mention to you guys it's actually a tool if you are in canada you can get morphe in sephora so i want you guys to pick up this brush if you don't already own it it comes in this set with the brush and a sponge it is actually the morphe e63 brush 
amazing i'm obsessed with this it is the perfect face brush it is good for applying foundation good for applying cream blush good for applying cream bronzers it's just a really really nice face brush super super inexpensive and the sponge in here is actually pretty good so if you're looking for and it's microfiber so if you're looking for a good brush and sponge to try out i highly recommend this set from morphe and final makeup product is my charlotte tilbury setting spray i just had to throw this in you guys know i've been really really enjoying this setting spray i always talk about it so i don't even think i need to say much it is just the perfect setting spray especially because it's about to get hot so if you need something to help with the longevity of your makeup try this product out from charlotte tilbury all right you guys so moving on to skincare i'm not going to talk too much about each product because i literally just uploaded a video showing you guys my favorite skincare products so i'm going to leave that up above so you guys can get like more details on each product but the first thing that i'm going to talk about is coming from dr dennis gross this is the alpha beta extra strength daily Feel absolutely amazing i love this product one of my favorite products to exfoliate my skin it leaves my skin feeling very smooth very very soft very very radiant if you are looking for a product to gently exfoliate your skin this product you can get in i believe three strengths so you can get the sensitive version the original version or the extra strength however this product is pretty pricey so if you want to try it out now is the perfect time to do so you can get this in a five pack if you just want to test it out I will have that linked down below but if you want to just commit and get the full size while you can get the discount i will have this linked down below as well but it's absolutely amazing and just one of my favorite products to exfoliate my skin the next one is the polish choice two percent bha liquid exfoliant this is another one of my favorites to exfoliate my skin it's very very gentle on the skin it gets deep in your pores and just clears everything out it leaves your skin feeling nice and smooth and looking nice and radiant the next day this is just a really really nice product the only downside with this is that you can only get this in sephora if you are in the us i usually get mines directly from paula's choice website so i'll have both linked down below for you guys but if you're in the us you can definitely get this in sephora the next product that i have i honestly don't need to say a lot this is the inkless oat cleansing balm this is amazing to break down your spf in the evenings just to oil cleanse your skin or to remove your makeup it's just an amazing cleansing balm if you're looking for something super super inexpensive definitely try this one out from the ink list this is honestly one of my favorite cleansing bobs one of my favorite makeup removers and i love the fact that the ink list is a part of the sephora sale even though it's already super super inexpensive so we can save extra coins so definitely try this one out from the ink list i have another product from the ink list another one that i rave about and this is the tranexamic acid this is really really good for helping with hyperpigmentation for fading your dark spots it is very very gentle on the skin and it pairs really really well with your niacinamide just to help you to fade hyperpigmentation and dark spots so if you're looking for something gentle to start out with try this one out from the ink list my next product is another og the youth to the people superfood cleanser this is another one that i always re-up on during the sale because it is pretty pricey for a cleanser so i always make sure that i take advantage of the fact that i can get a discount to pick this one up but this is a very very gentle cleanser it's literally the perfect cleanser one of my favorite cleanser the only thing is the price point and as i said i just prefer to pick it up whenever i can get a discount it is amazing if you're looking for a super super gentle cleanser that gets the job done try this one out from youth to people the next product is another one that i've been talking about a lot on my channel and this is the faded serum from topicals this is an amazing serum this is another product that has done wonders for my skin this is really good to fade your hyperpigmentation helps with fading off dark spots if you need something to really really get in there try this one out especially if you have like old spots that you've been trying to get rid of and they're just not moving try this serum and trust me in a couple weeks you will definitely see results from this one it's absolutely amazing definitely give this one a try the hyper on this is 100 real and i've been seeing a lot of amazing results from this another product that i have been talking a lot about on my channel is the keels 
ultra facial overnight rehydrating mask with 10.5 percent squalene this is amazing to repair your skin barrier if you need a little bit of help to repair your skin barrier and you need that added moisture to your skin try this one out from kiehl's it's absolutely amazing it has done wonders for my skin and i will forever rave about this product when i tell you flakiness dryness tightness all of that is gone due to this product absolutely amazing another cleansing balm that i have to mention is from youth to the people this is the superberry dream cleansing balm this is a really really nice makeup remover this is another one that is a little bit pricey but if you want to pick it up now is the perfect time to give it a try it is really really good to break down your makeup if you've tried the superberry overnight mask from youth to the people it smells exactly like that it just gives you that really really nice spa like feel it smells beautiful and it does a really really good job at breaking down your makeup so if you're looking for a really good cleansing balm to try out try this one from you to the people and it will last you a really really long time and finally my spf recommendation is the super group spf my personal favorite is the everyday play but they have tons of options they have the unseen sunscreen they have it in a moisturizer form it doesn't give you any um white cast or anything like that it looks beautiful on the skin so i'll have this link down below and a couple others from super goob i also love the fenty skin spf however the new fragrance free version isn't available on sephora as yet which is why i'm not mentioning that one because if you need that um fragrance free version you have to get it directly from the fenty skin website so hopefully soon it will be available on sephora but that is it for skincare so moving on to body care the first body care product that i have is the josie marin argan oil whipped body butter this is amazing when i tell you this smells so good i have this in the scent vanilla bean you can get this in unscented vanilla bean and citrus this is a really really nice subtle vanilla it's sweet it is there you're going to smell the vanilla but it's not super strong and i really really like that it is absolutely amazing it's very creamy very hydrating on the skin it is a little bit cheaper than the fenty beauty body butter so if you want to try this out i highly recommend it it is a really really nice body butter i've been really really enjoying this one and i also as always have my fenty beauty um body butter this is another one that i absolutely love and i love the fact that i can just purchase a refill around the sale and save a little bit of coins so these are the two body butters that i 100 recommend you give a try during the sephora sale if there's a body butter that you are currently loving from sephora let me know in the comment section so i can try it out because you guys know i love a good body butter but if you need options definitely try them out all right y'all so i have another product from fenty skin this is the buff rider body scrub this body scrub i'm gonna need this in a full size this is a really really nice body scrub it does a good job at gently exfoliating the skin it's not super harsh on the skin and i love the fact that when you rinse this off it leaves a really really nice glow to your skin it almost feels like there's a oil on your skin but it's not super super greasy like it hydrates your skin it is a beautiful body scrub if you're looking for a good body scrub to try out highly recommend this one from fenty skin I honestly did not expect to like this but I actually really really do love this and I want to pick this one up in a full size my last two body care products are coming from necessary this is the necessary body wash this is in the scent eucalyptus y'all I'm obsessed with this body wash it's my favorite self-care body wash it's really really nice has a very very nice lather to it if you want to try out the necessary products but you don't want to commit to the full size they have a really really nice set on Sephora I'm considering to pick it up so I can try out um like the other products from necessary that i haven't tried it comes with i believe everything except the body oil and the deodorant so super super inexpensive so if you want to try that out i'll have it on the screen so you know what i'm talking about and it comes with the body wash and the body wash the serum um the lotion 
and the body scrub so you can get to try a bunch of products from necessary so yeah i really really love this body wash 10 out of 10 definitely recommend and the next product that i have from necessary is the gel deodorant which i'm obsessed with this is actually a really really nice clean deodorant it actually works and it doesn't leave any white film on your armpits or anything like that and it actually holds up i've been really really enjoying this deodorant and i love the fact that it's unscented so it doesn't clash with the other products that i put on my body i've been really really enjoying this deodorant if you're looking for a good clean deodorant to try out definitely try this one from necessary it is actually really really good so that's it for body care for hair care i have the olaplex number three this is amazing you guys know how much i love this this is like a pre-poo treatment so before you shampoo your hair you just get your hair damp apply this to your hair and it just revives your curls it leaves your hair feeling super super strong um i find that when i use this i don't have as much breakage this is absolutely amazing it is absolutely worth the coins if you want to try this out now is the perfect time to do it they also have a really really good set with this in it if you want to try it out i'll have it on the screen and also linked down below so you guys can try it out but this is honestly one of my favorite products from all of and I feel like this is one that I'm always going to continue to repurchase I'm almost out of this one so I'll probably repurchase this during the sale but it's absolutely amazing so for fragrances you guys I'm going to do a video hopefully while the sale is still going on showing you guys that my favorite spring scents but one fragrance that I have to mention to you guys is coming from Giorgio Armani this is my way this is the ultimate spring scent this is my favorite favorite spring scent if you love a good floral scent you're gonna love this if you love a really really nice sweet scent you're gonna love this this just smells absolutely amazing it just smells very very expensive and it wears really really well it's a really nice fruity floral if you're looking for a good scent to try out this spring try this one out from Giorgio Armani and the final fragrance that I'm going to recommend to you guys is just one that I always give you guys an update on whenever the sale is going on and that is the Kaylee Vanilla 28 it is currently in stock so hopefully it stays in stock during the sale so you guys can grab it if you need to this is my absolute favorite this is actually my second bottle so if you're looking for a good vanilla fragrance i don't think i need to say much about this one 100 recommend this right here are right, you guys so now for my wish list it is very 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 long i was tempted to do a separate video but I was like, you know what? My wish list is subject to change because I always make sure I take your recommendations in consideration before I place my order. So the first thing that I have on my list is the new Sol de Janeiro body cream. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I heard that it smells like Baccarat. So I'll have a picture of everything that I mentioned on the screen. So I'm curious about that one. So I'm definitely going to be picking that up. Another product that I have is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, the moisturizer with hyaluronic acid. This one is pricey, but I've been wanting to try this for a while. If you have TikTok, you know this one is another product that is all over TikTok. So I'm curious about that one. I'm also going to pick up another one of the Morphe brush set because I really, really do like that brush and I've been using it a lot and it's a very very versatile brush so I do feel like I need another one I also have the pattern heavy conditioner you guys know I love that conditioner if you're looking for a good conditioner that is going to give you um, make it super super easy to detangle your hair this is a really really nice conditioner so I use that up so I'm definitely going to be repurchasing that I also have a Fenty Beauty gloss balm in the shade sweet mouth i really really like this this is like a pinky gloss i believe i saw alia's face using this and i want to pick that one up i love a good gloss balm i also have a kaoli mini fragrance that is sweet diamond pink pepper and i also have deja vu white flower in a mini but that one is currently out of stock hopefully it comes back by the time the sale starts i also have the skin fix glycolic and lactic acid renewing body scrub i really really want to try that one out i've been hearing a lot about it but it's always out of stock but recently it came back in stock so hopefully it stays in stock for the sale i also have my fancy beauty 
body butter refill I have that necessary um, body rituals set the mini that I want to try out I also have a blush from Pat McGrath because as I told you guys I want to do a full face of Pat McGrath so it's the perfect time to take advantage of the discount I have it in the shade electric bloom I also have another shade of the concealer from Pat McGrath in the shade number 20 because I need a shade to like brighten the under eyes. I've been saying that I'm going to pick it up, but I feel like now is finally the time that I'm going to pick it up. I also have my number seven bonding oil from Olaplex, y'all. This oil amazing i used it up so i want to repurchase it i have been waiting for the Danessa myrick's dewy cheek and lip palette to come back in stock and i don't know why it's been out of stock for the longest so hopefully that comes back in stock for the sale so i can pick that up i also have a fragrance in my wish list that i've been wanting to pick up but i'm patiently waiting for the sale this is the mason margiela replica bubble bath when i tell you this fragrance smells so amazing i didn't expect to like it but it smells really really good it smells fresh like a nice spa day if you love a good clean fragrance this one right here absolutely amazing i have the green tea hydrating hyaluronic acid serum from innisfree if you've tried that let me know what you guys think it's currently on sale so i have it i probably tried that one out i also have the fenty skin hand mask i've been hearing a lot about this i was like it's probably a good mask to just throw in your purse and take around with you because i have the mini of the body butter but i'm almost out of that so i was like the hand mask is probably a good replacement for that and i also have another body butter that i want to try out but i'm not 100 percent sold on it as yet so if you've tried it let me know and it is the keys soul care nourishing body cream with shea butter as you guys can see my list is very very long and i haven't even added your recommendations as yet but you guys know once i do all of my shopping i will come back and do a huge sephora haul for you guys but that is everything that i have i hope i didn't miss anything if i did i will update you guys in the community tab here on youtube or in the comment section of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found it helpful let me know in the comment section your recommendations and the products that you are going to be grabbing during the sale once again don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in my next one bye